Welcome back to Big Bill Anderson's Life Tours, my friends. Today is the 18th of November, 2019. I'm in Williams, Arizona, which is in the northern section of the state. Amongst beautiful pine trees, I'm at Mountain View Cemetery, paying my respects to a wrestling icon, Mr. Chavo Guerrero Sr., a man that I wrestled several times back in the 80s and early 90s in Mexico and in California, all in tag team matches, wrestled his brothers Mondo, Hector, and Eddie. As you might know, Eddie Guerrero passed away in 2005. That was the first video I did on my YouTube channel, if you want to go back and check it out. It's a bit primitive and not too professional. I do plan on updating Eddie's video in the near future. But today I drove 150 miles plus each way to come visit Mr. Chavo Guerrero. And as it says on his headstone, the legend of Chavo Guerrero, January 7th, 1949 to February 11th, 2017, forever in our hearts. Every day with Jesus is better than the day before. Chavo came from a wrestling family. His father, Gory Guerrero, to even use the word icon, is not giving him the credit he deserves. In Mexico, he helped form Lucha Libre with El Santo, Black Shadow, Blue Demon, El Rayo de Jalisco back in the 30s and 40s in Mexico. And his father was a legend. Chavo was a legend. His brothers, Mondo, Hector, and Eddie, just tremendous athletes and all legends in their own right. Chavo's son, Chavo Guerrero Jr., one of the most excellent wrestlers you'll ever see in the world of professional wrestling. So, my friends, I wanted to come here today. I'm going to tell you more about the story of Chavo Guerrero, his life, read off some of his accomplishments. The man did a lot, and he was an inspiration to a lot. He helped put men like Rowdy Roddy Piper on the map when Piper was just beginning his career. Him and Chavo had battles in Los Angeles at the old Olympic Auditorium that are still talked about today. So my friends, thanks for tuning in. I want you to stay with me as we talk more about Mr. Chavo Guerrero. Stay with me. Salvador Guerrero III, or Chavo as he was known, was born on January 7, 1949 in El Paso, Texas. Chavo was the son of Gory Guerrero and the older brother of wrestlers Armando, Hector, and Eddie Guerrero. He grew up in El Paso. His father, Gory, was one of the premier legends of Mexican-American professional wrestling from the 1940s through the 1960s. Chavo and his brothers were trained by their father and began wrestling in their hometown of El Paso, Texas, at shows that their father promoted before eventually making names for themselves in wrestling. Their father insisted that they learn amateur wrestling as well as the acrobatic and aggressive Lucha Libre style. They also competed successfully at the high school and collegiate levels. Chavo graduated from the University of Texas at El Paso, class of 1972, with a Bachelor of Science in Education, so he could teach both history and Spanish. He had two children, wrestler Chavo Jr. and daughter Victoria. Chavo began his professional wrestling career in 1970. 
In the early 1970s, he moved his family to California so he could compete in Los Angeles' NWA, Hollywood Wrestling, and San Francisco's Big Time Wrestling. In NWA Hollywood, he feuded with Rowdy Roddy Piper for the NWA America's Heavyweight Championship. In 1978, he co-starred with Henry Winkler in the movie The One and Only as wrestler Indian Joe. He spent the early 80s splitting his time between All Japan Pro Wrestling, Mid-South Wrestling, Championship Wrestling in Florida, and Houston Wrestling. In 1982, Guerrero feuded with Atsushi Onita over the NWA International Junior Heavyweight Championship in All Japan Pro Wrestling. In 1983, he feuded with Gino Hernandez in Mid-South Wrestling. In 1984, he teamed with his brother Hector Guerrero in Championship Wrestling from Florida, captured the NWA United States Tag Team titles. In 1985, Hector and Chavo then traveled back over to Mid-South Wrestling where they feuded with the Rock and Roll Express. They then engaged in a rivalry with Ted DiBiase and Dr. Death Steve Williams over the UWF Tag Team Championship. In 1986, they wrestled the Fabulous Ones on multiple occasions for Mid-South Wrestling. I, for one, was a huge fan of Mid-South Wrestling and I remember vividly watching Hector and Chavo wrestle in tag team matches. And it was the highlight of any wrestling show on television uh, during the mid-80s, watching these two brothers perform. In 1988, Mondo and Chavo competed in the AWA. They wrestled for the AWA World Tag Team Championship held by Diamond Dallas Page's team of Bad Company, Paul Diamond, and Pat Tanaka. On May 26, 1989, Chavo, Mondo, and Eddie defeated Los Mercenarios, which was myself, Bill Anderson, Tim Patterson, and Luis Piccoli at the Auditorio de Tijuana in Mexico for the World Wrestling Association's Trios Championship. We won those belts back on July 28, 1989, two months later. In Eddie Guerrero's book, Cheating Death, Stealing Life, the Eddie Guerrero story. He talks about his first championship belt he won in wrestling was beating my team of Los Mercenarios. On August 27, 1989, Los Mercenarios gave Chavo, Mondo, and Eddie Guerrero a rematch for our WWA Trios Championship belts at the San Bernardino Arena in San Bernardino, California during television tapings for the Wrestling International Network. Hector Guerrero was also wrestling on these tapings. As I was walking outside of the building to get some fresh air between tapings, I saw the father of the four Guerreros, Gory, enter the building. This was the only time I ever had the opportunity to meet and shake the hand of the legendary Gory Guerrero. I only wish I would have taken a picture with him that day. All five Guerreros posed at the ring for a historic photo that day. Gory passed away just a few months later. In 1990, Chavo again teamed with his brothers Mondo and Eddie and competed in the oldest wrestling office in Mexico, the EMLL, in multiple trios matches. In 2004, Guerrero began working for the World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE, joining his son Chavo Jr. and brother Eddie. While with the WWE, he competed as Chavo Classic and became the oldest WWE Cruiserweight Champion in history, defeating Chavo Jr. and Spike Dudley in a triple threat match. He eventually lost the title to Rey Mysterio. Chavo retired from wrestling in 2010. In July of 2016, Chavo and his son were named as part of a class action lawsuit filed against WWE, which alleged that wrestlers incurred traumatic brain injuries during their tenure and that the company concealed the risks of injury. Over a year after his death, a U.S. 
district judge dismissed the lawsuit in September of 2018. On February 11, 2017, Chavo Guerrero died of liver cancer at the age of 68 in El Paso, Texas. Here are just a few of Chavo's accolades in his 40-year wrestling career. All Japan Pro Wrestling International Junior Heavyweight Champion. National Wrestling Alliance World Junior Heavyweight Champion twice. Atlantic Coast Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion twice. Championship Wrestling from Florida United States Tag Team Champions with Hector Guerrero. Eastern Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion twice. Empire Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion. International Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion. NWA America's Heavyweight Champion 15 times. NWA Tag Team Champion 11 times. Twice with Raul Mata. And once each with his father, Gory Guerrero. Butcher Vashan, Victor Rivera, the Canadian, his brother Hector Guerrero, John Tolis, El Halcón, Black Gordman, and Al Madrill. He also had the NWA World Light Heavyweight Championship around his waist twice. He was New Japan Pro Wrestling International Junior Heavyweight Champion twice. Southwest Championship Wrestling Junior Heavyweight Champion Southwest World Tag Team Champion with Manny Fernandez as his partner. Texas All-Star Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Texas All-Star Wrestling Texas Tag Team Champions twice with Al Madrill as his partner. Texas All-Star U.S. Heavyweight Champion. And of course, the World Wrestling Association WWA Trios Champion with his brothers Mondo and Eddie Guerrero. In 2017, the Netflix series Glow had its seventh episode dedicated to Chavo Guerrero Sr. And this is a quote from Chavo's son shortly after his father's passing. Today, the world lost a true rebel. He did things his way. Not always right, not always wrong, but he always followed what he believed in. As a believer in Jesus Christ, he is now in paradise. So my friends, I am honored to stand here today at this final resting place for a man that I knew fairly well through the years. I trusted my life in the ring with him many times. I socialized with him outside of wrestling at functions like the Cauliflower Alley Club dinners. And he made a lasting impression with me, as well as millions of wrestling fans around the world. So Chavo Guerrero, rest in peace, mi amigo. And I too will join you in paradise one day, my friend. So my YouTube channel subscribers to Big Bill Anderson's life tours if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please share it with your friends this video was done out of respect for a fellow brother in wrestling it always touches my heart a little bit more when it's someone I know that I visit their grave so my friends thank you for taking time out of your busy day to watch this video Thank you very much, and adios, amigos.